A 68-year-old man comes to the office for a follow-up appointment. He has a history of advanced melanoma that is unresectable and resistant to adjuvant regimens. The patient recently began receiving monoclonal antibody infusions for advanced melanoma. The monoclonal antibodies block a specific cell surface receptor found on T lymphocytes. As a result, T cells capable of recognizing tumor antigens have improved ability to... The question is, which of the following cell surface receptors is most likely blocked by the treatment? If you are one of the smartest people on earth, type the correct choice in the comment box below. A. CCR5 B. C. D. 4 C. C. D. 19 D. C. D. 28 E. P. D. 1 I am guessing you did not get the answer right. The correct choice is E, which is P. D. 1. Oncogenesis generates proteins not found in healthy cells. Pieces of these proteins, neoantigens, are displayed on the cell surface and may be recognized by cytotoxic T cells as non-self, leading to cellular apoptosis. However, neoplastic cells can blunt the cytotoxic T cell response through a variety of mechanisms, including the overexpression of program Death Ligand 1 or PDL1, which binds to the PD1 receptor on cytotoxic T cells and inhibits their ability to induce apoptosis called T cell exhaustion. Treatment with monoclonal antibodies against PD1, such as pembrolizumab, nivolumab, or PDL1, like atezolizumab, results in T cell disinhibition and a restoration of the cytotoxic response, thereby increasing cancer cell apoptosis. Anti-PD-1 therapy is currently used in advanced melanoma, certain types of lung cancer, and renal cell carcinoma, but is being explored for many other cancer types. Now let's see why you were wrong. Both choices A and B are incorrect answer because HIV uses chemokine co-receptor 5 or CCR5 to bind to CD4 cells. Antagonists to CCR5 have been developed for the management of patients with HIV. CCR5 also appears to promote CD4 cell anti-tumor responses, so antibodies blocking its function may downregulate immune-mediated tumor destruction. Blockade of CD4 itself would inhibit helper T-cell activation and reduce tumor cell destruction. Choice C cannot be the correct answer because CD19 is expressed primarily on B-cells, not T-cells, and is important for B-cell signaling and activation. Choice D cannot be the correct answer because CD28 is a T-cell-specific surface protein that interacts with B7 on antigen-presenting cells, providing a co-stimulatory signal necessary for T-cell activation. Therefore, antibodies blocking CD28 would inhibit T-cell. CTLA-4 also binds to B7 but has an inhibitory function on activated T-cells. If you already knew the answer or at least now know the correct one, click the like button.